everybody, Pam Farrell here, and today I want to share some promises from God. Um, there are over 5,000 promises God has in His Word for us, and don't worry, I'm only going to share seven of them. We won't be here today, but there's seven that have inspired me and um, have really helped me during this time. So if you're a believer, these promises should mean the world to you. Um, if you're listening today, and you are not a believer, I want to encourage you to ask God to prove himself to you. He wants to, and he will in a way that you personally will understand. God wants nothing more than to fill that God-shaped hole, as Jenny talked about in her devotion. He wants to fill it with himself through his son, Jesus Christ. So um, I encourage you to ask God that. And promise number one. Romans 8, 38 through 39, God loves you unconditionally. Doesn't matter where you've been, what you've done, it doesn't matter, he loves you. Promise number two, Psalms 27, 10, you are never alone. Um, I know these times have brought on fears and wonders and how am I gonna make it, but God is there, you are not alone. Promise number three, Psalms 139, God formed you and knows you intimately. He knows you better than you know yourself. And um, he knows what you need and when you need it. So lean on that. Promise number four, Jeremiah 29, 11. God's plan for your life is to prosper you, not to harm you. He has good. on the You know, through all of this, on the other side of it, there are going to be amazing things that we're going to look back on and say, wow, God did that through this time. So hang in there. Promise number five, Philippians 4.13. Through your faith in Christ, you have a special strength available to you. I know some of you may think, I'm not feeling very strong right now. And it's so true. But in Christ, you do have strength that you don't even realize. So dig deep. Find that strength within you. Promise number six, John 14, 13 through 14. God hears your prayers and can move through them. You may be feeling like I'm praying and praying and not seeing the answers, but you know, God's timing is perfect. And as we pray, he will work through them. Promise number seven, Psalms 126, five. Hope is always alive in your life through Christ. And that's what I want for you guys. I, I want that hope that can happen in your heart as you think about these promises from God and, and they hopefully bring meaning to your life. And, and maybe you can do some research on your own and take a look at the other promises in God's word to help you carry and endure this time of quarantine. But I just encourage you to stand on the promises. There's that old song that... We used to sing back when I was a really young girl, standing on the promises of God. And that's what I'm hoping all of you will do during this time. So love to all, miss you all. Can't wait to give you hugs, real hugs. <laughs> but for now, hugs from afar and know that we think of you often. Chris and I both do and praying for our church family. We love you all. Bye.